what is going on guys it's the mad dragon coming at you today with some rugby 22 news yes that's right we're not talking about rugby 24 those guys haven't got that game out in time for the world cup so we're doing something a bit different today i've got some rugby 22 news for you guys very exciting stuff i'm not sure if you can hear it in the background of this video there has been a bit of a change going on in this game so what's going on well with rugby 24 having not come out before the world cup the community of rugby gamers has taken it upon themselves to try and quench our thirst for some world cup gameplay a subscriber on the channel has reached out out to me and said that he has created a mod for rugby 22 to include all of the official world cup kits the world cup music that you can hear in the background change to the referees kits and some of the game loading screens as well all really exciting stuff so in this video today we're going to check out what this mod offers you guys and also at the end of it we're going to go through a step by step of how you guys can install it yourselves so you can check it out for yourselves and play it yourselves if you want to and get into that Rugby World Cup spirit. Now, this mod is only available on PC. Unfortunately, as with the uh, the modern community, it tends to always be on PC. The subscriber that's reached out to me is a lovely guy called Waldo, who's let me know about this mod that he's created. He's filled me in on all of the specifics needed to install this mod on the PC, including the fact that uh, I think before you install this mod, you need another mod installed. But from talking to everyone who plays this game on PC, See, everyone probably has the exact mod that I did installed in the first place, but we'll be going over that as well in the video, so no need to worry. So what comes with this modification? Well, as you can see here, when we go into a quick match, you can see the update there to the logo. It's now the Rugby World Cup 2023, along with the teams. We'll have a bit of a glance through as we go. So you can see the kits now, obviously the kits in the World Cup, a lot of them tend to be just typically more sort of blanket kits there. Hopefully you can see the sort of detail though on the All Blacks kit, also including the World Cup logo on every kit which is really cool not only that we also have the alternate kits for every single team so if you want to play with some teams in the alternate kits we've got some quite striking ones like Wales of course playing in that black and yellow the spring box in that really cool one uh, Argentina there with their stripe so there is a lot of really cool kits hopefully on the screen now for you guys I'll put some uh, some live gameplay so that you guys can check it out yourselves what it looks like with all the new kits and stuff so that you can get a bit of a feel for what they look like in game and how they work Waldo did say that uh, it's probably worth mentioning that he tried his uh, his best with the the socks the pants, the numbers, and the uh, the jerseys. He might not have got everything bang on perfect, but he did actually create this mod before the World Cup kicked off, but it is a superb modification to this game, and uh, I'm personally absolutely loving it. Also included in this game, which is something that is really nice, um, is an update to the South African team. Now, the South African team, of course, wasn't licensed in this game when it uh, originally came in, so let's head over to the, uh, the South African team so that you guys can see what has uh, shifted up in this. So, um, they've mixed up the some of the players now so we've got some new players in there for you to have a bit more of a, an official world cup team that came in for south africa so we'll go through the list just sort of on screen for you guys see like obviously john klein's now in the game um khaleesi was sort of already in jasper visa now in the game marnie libok there in uh, in fly half kurtley arensa esther hayes and so we've now got a fully fledged um south africa team waldo did also let me know that uh, he himself is a south african supporter and he said after creating the mod he might have been slightly too generous to a couple of the uh, the South African players stats but to be honest I've played against the South African team they seem to be a bit of a step up and it's really nice to play against they're a bit of a challenge uh, but nothing mind-blowing not sort of game breaking so I personally have, uh, have really enjoyed it and the eagle-eyed viewers of you guys watching as well will also have noticed that some of the uh, the rankings have also changed so the rankings of the teams are now in line with what the rankings were going into the World Cup so this is probably the most official <laughs> World Cup game we're gonna have with uh, with rugby 20 for not coming out uh, in time so if you guys want to join in you want to play it yourselves we're going to go through how you guys can get it right now so the mod itself can be found over on Mediafire. The link will be in the description. Never ever click links in the comment section. I never put links in the comment section so make sure you're not going to be downloading any virus or something. The link will be in the description of this video for you guys to find it yourself. It is called Rugby22 Mod File. You just press download. Obviously I've already got a copy of it downloaded so I don't need to press download but you guys can follow it through. Press download. It might open up another window. Wait for the download to be complete and then you'll be able to find the game files in your download section on your PC.
Now, obviously, once it's downloaded, you can just go into your download section and get the uh, the zip file itself. I've saved mine here to my uh, my desktop just to make it a little bit easier for myself. Um, so once you come into the file, it will just say it's the Rugby 22 mod file. Now, what Waldo's done for you guys, which is really, really useful, um, is a complete breakdown of everything. So we've got three different things on the go here, and we'll go through them all individually. So we have the World Cup mod. That's the thing the video is about right now. That's what the, the folder you're going to be interested in if you want the World Cup mod modification. He's also included for you guys the normal kits mod, which is the updated versions of the kit, but they don't have the World Cup logo. They've got the actual logos for the actual teams and stuff on, and you can apply that just the same way. It's basically overriding files. So if you don't want the World Cup kit specifically, but you'd like the updated kits, that mod will do it for you as well. And then the, finally, the third folder is the mod reversal. So after the World Cup's over, you go, you know what? Mad Dragon, the World Cup's done. I don't fancy playing in the World Cup kits anymore. There's also a single folder for you to use that just reverses it all in one go. Also really important, um, he's dropped down a little note section for you guys. So you can go into it and you can specifically read through what each mod does and how to install it in a bit of a step-by-step -step guide if you don't want to use the video. Now, as I said at the start of the video, um, the way we got this mod to work is on an already modded version of the game. That's the one I had. It has been tested on a completely unmodded version of the, uh, of the game. And uh, man, there is some weird stuff that goes on there. So don't do that. Uh, but it's an important note he's put at the top there. This is the mod I have installed. A lot of you guys drop down in the comment sections. How come I have the official England kit and the official England team? Um, it is due to a mod that already exists that most of you guys playing on PC will probably already have installed because it really enhanced the game um, when it first came out. It's that link there, which is in the, uh, the text folder for this one. If you download that one first, there's even a YouTube video of how you can install that one as well so that you guys can go watch that step by step and install that mod first. Once you've got that mod installed, you can move on to the uh, the fun stuff. This is where we're going to get involved with the uh, with the World Cup one, and this is what we're going to be doing. So the World Cup mod includes all national teams uh, that were originally included in the game. The World Cup kits, except the USA, who obviously aren't in the uh, the World Cup this year. It also includes up some, uh, some new load screens, some new startup menu songs, updated team ratings according to the world rankings at the start of the World Cup, and a few updated South African players. The only one that doesn't work is uh, the Samoa team doesn't have jersey numbers on the back of their jersey. Um, and it does also affect the commentary, but I don't play with the commentary at all. Um, I do my own commentary for videos and stuff, so that doesn't really bother me. And just not having jersey numbers on the back of one team wasn't a big deal for me in order to have some much cooler looking kits for the rest of the teams. So how do you go about installing the mod yourselves? Well, you want to go into your, your PC and go into your Windows. You want to be finding where the game files are actually held. Now, I know a bit of the uh, the pathing for it. You can follow it step by step if you want. Mine starts off with the program files, the x86 version. You head into there. Then you want to come down to Steam, then go down to Steam Apps, and then go into Common. Now that will come up with all your list of games that you have on your desktop at the minute. You head into Rugby 22, and that is where your Rugby 22 files are. Now, obviously, we don't want anyone to lose any data or any save game progress, or if anything goes wrong, you want to be able to recover it. I would always recommend saving a copy of the files that are already there, just so that if anything goes wrong, you can always revert it later. And that could be really simply done by just copying the folders into a, a folder on your desktop. So like mine, I've got their backup Roby22 folders, just in case anything went wrong, it's a really easy fix for you. And then once you've got to this stage, it's really, really simple. You basically pick which one of the three mods you're interested in, whether you just want the updated kits, the World Cup, or to reverse it, whichever one you're wanting to do at the meantime. We'll start out with the World Cup one because that's the one this video is about. You just go into the World Cup, you get this data folder and you drag it over here and you drop it in. Once you drop the folder on there, obviously it will pop up with, do you want to replace some of the files? And in your guys' instance, you will just press replace the files in this destination and then boom! You are done. That is now the installation of that. Now, if you want to know a bit more of the inner workings in it, you can also, of course, go into them specifically. You can go through all the custom files and you can find all the individual teams and you can add them over individually. But uh, Waldo's assured me it's as simple as just dropping in that data folder. Once you get to the end of the World Cup and you go, you know what, Mad Dragon, I've had enough of the World Cup now. You just go into the mod reversal and again, you grab your, grab your data one, you drop it in there and it just replaces those files again back from it and should revert your game. 
if in doubt that's why we've saved the backup so of course if everything goes wrong for whatever reason you can just go back and reinstall your original copy of the game and it really is literally that simple guys once you've done that you load up your game and boom we have our new kits i've decided to chuck on a an argentina versus fiji both in our uh, alternate kits of course why not it's a really really fun mod thank you so much to uh, to waldo not only for bringing this to my attention and letting me get my uh, my hands on it but also saying he was more than happy for me to uh, to make a video about it showing you guys how to get involved of course the link to the mod itself will be in the description he is also saying he's going to put it on the rugby forum so that you guys can get involved as well but i thought you might just want to see a little bit of gameplay just before we go let me get kicked off of course you can see the refs kit as well changed to that uh, that world cup yellow kit and uh, the game works absolutely flawlessly nothing different about it at all um, except for the fact that we've got these new logos new music uh, a big tackle there coming in and uh, some fantastic new kits along the way so if you guys want to try it out it will be available for you guys now as well and you can go and get involved with a bit more of the uh, the world cup stuff i for one i'm probably going to keep these kits on for a long time of course when the world cup is over maybe i'll swap back to the uh, the other file that isn't necessarily specifically the world cup kits but is certainly also the alternate jerseys as pablo matera just getting stopped just shy of the uh, of the line there um, but i'll probably be including these in um, some future videos as well especially leading all the way up till we get the uh, the actual release of rugby 20 for, but hopefully those guys themselves will have uh, given us some uh, some brand new official kits and stuff i hope you all enjoyed this one today guys make sure to drop this video a like and uh, i really look forward to you guys trying it out yourselves and uh, enjoying some of the new kits on offer in rugby 22 i'll see you all next time guys bye bye